Hey everybody, hey bosses, this is Ella. And today this episode is gonna be a little bit different because I'm going to walk you through what I've been doing personally as a writer the last couple of months. So um, it's gonna be kind of a lot of data. I might not make quite so many jokes or be as bubbly because it's gonna be like, hmm, I started here, did this, did this, did this. Okay, so it's gonna, gonna, gonna kind of be in that kind of style. So um, many of you probably know if you've been in the Facebook group or are on the newsletter that this last summer, last summer, I made an author like a boss framework based on all these interviews, you know, based on interviewing all these really success, successful writers and and what they've done to get their success. And so I created this framework. It's specifically designed for women who have written a couple books or have started books and um, know that they want to be an author. Like know that what they want to do is write for their living, self-publish their books, and be able to work from home as a writer, okay? So that's what the whole intention was. And so I started offering it and you guys, it's so good. Like, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so good. But I hadn't actually done the stuff myself. And there's a couple of reasons why. First off, I am like being a writer while I've had books about writing on my shelf for like the last 25 years. <laughs> and while I love to read, I probably read a book a day. Um, being a writer isn't like where my zone, it's not my zone of genius. If you've ever read Gay Hendricks, the, um, it's not my zone of genius. It's like, it's like baking. Like I really love to bake, but if I had to do it every day, I wouldn't for like for my job. I wouldn't love it anymore. So writing fiction is kind of like that for me. It's like, I really want to do it and I like to do it well, but it's not what I want to wake up every day and do for my job. The second thing, the second, so that's one reason why I haven't done it before. The second thing is that I'm very slow writer. <laughs> like I'm super slow, you guys. Like 500 words an hour is mm, yeah, standard. <laughs> You know, it's not like some kind of crazy, I don't, I'm very slow. And so, um, you know, when I thought about having to implement my own framework, my own blueprint, I was like, oh my gosh, because I know that writing is not an instantaneous thing. It's not like making money with your books. It takes at least three books to really start seeing the money coming in. And I'm like, three books, that's going to take me two years <laughs> minimum because I'm a slow writer and because it's not what I truly, truly love to do. What I love to do, you guys, so what my zone of genius is, is this conversations and um, coaching that helps creative women. But back to the story. So I had been like, I, the reason I hadn't written any fiction books is because I knew it was going to take a long time. It's not my zone of genius. It wasn't going to be as fun as I wanted it to be because it's not my zone of genius. But as I'm, you know, compiling all this work from the authors that I've interviewed and look and, and creating this blueprint for you <laughs> to work on. And I'm like, you know what? You know, what? I, what I should really... This would work every, all of this whole process would be a whole lot better if I'd done this myself, basically. Like I should do this myself. And fortunately, I think the universe, <laughs> the universe was like, yes, you should. Things will go a lot easier just in your life. Plus you've always wanted to write something. You just didn't want it to be your job. And the universe introduced me to a short story genre <laughs> where the, that that was um, that is fairly popular on Amazon. It's a short story genre. So I went and I did a bunch of research. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, so <laughs> my heater popped on right in the middle of recording with the fan in the background. And I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. 
So first thing I did was research on the short story genre because I'm like, how long are the short stories? Because it's still, I'm a slow writer. And it turns out the short stories were kind of anywhere in between 7,500 words and like 25,000 words. Okay, so a pretty big range of short stories. Um, but there were successful authors in, you know, at all at all those lengths. So between, you know, 7,500 and, you know, 12,000 or all the way up to 20,000 to 25,000 words. Those are words, you guys. Those are those are the numbers I'm using. I was like, okay, okay, I'm probably not going to be doing 25,000, but I could probably do 10,000. <laughs> okay. So that was in December. That was in December. I, and basically, I'm not really sure. <laughs> basically, what I did was I, since December, I have been doing my own program. Like I have been going through the author like a boss blueprint. Okay. <laughs> like it's because here's what was happening is people would ask me questions and, you know, authors would ask me questions. What about this? What about this? And I'd be like, well, it's, it, it's in, it's in the course. <laughs> and every time somebody asked me, I, I'd tell them, you know, I'd answer their question and it'd be like, you know, this is in the course. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was like, you know what, this is this is really awesome. I love this course. I love the blueprint. I'm going to do it myself. So you guys are probably wondering, where am I at now? Because that was December. And today, like literally, as I'm recording this, it is February 24th. So it's the Monday before you're getting, you know, like, you'll get this will come out tomorrow. Okay. So I in the in the Facebook group, if you guys aren't in the Author Like a Boss Facebook group, I recommend going in there because that's where I'm going to be posting um, or liking the Author Like a Boss Facebook page because that's where I'll be posting regular kind of, um, you know, oh, I'm having a brain fart, you know, regular posts, basically. I'll be telling you what's happening. Okay, so on the, uh, so I published my first book on January 31st, Okay published the first book on January 31st. Today is February 24th. And I just refreshed my just refreshed my KDP Amazon account. Okay. And as of today, I have 157 paid downloads. So that means 157 people, or I've had 157 purchases. And I have 24,194 pages read. Okay. <laughs> so that's in January 31st to February 24th. That's 25 days. <laughs> in 25 days, I have almost 25,000 pages read. Okay. Which to me is like, oh, ah! <laughs> like what, 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 what? Okay. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the process. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did that happen? Because I've been sharing it in the Facebook group and in my newsletter. So if you want to catch it on that, definitely go sign up. But I will start at the beginning on this one and kind of get you caught up. Okay. So ah, here's some facts. I started a brand new pen name. Okay. Started a brand new pen name. Didn't have any followers. Nothing. Um... And I am writing short stories. I am enrolled under that pen name in Kindle Unlimited. And I'm pricing each of the stories at 99 cents. Okay. And part of the thing is one thing I'm going to tell you is I am not. One thing I'm not going to tell you is the genre or what the pen name is. Because a key part of the success of a, being an indie author is protecting the algorithm. Okay, it's one of the it's one part of the blueprint of the author like a boss blueprint is work your algorithms. And a key part of that is protecting, protecting your algorithm, especially in the first 30 days. And so I'm still only on day 25. So <laughs> like, so I'm like, mm -mm. nobody gets to know the only people who get to know. They don't even know that it's me behind the name. Okay, it's the people who read those short stories. 
Okay, so I will not be sharing that information, but I'll be sharing almost everything else. <laughs> okay, so the first book released on January 31st, the second book released on February 6th, the third book released on February 12th, and I'm realizing because I'm, I'm looking at, I'm referencing an email I sent out a week ago, and I'm like, oh, I've I've released another book since then. So um, the fourth book came out on the 21st. So that was last Friday. And uh, tonight I am uploading the fifth book, which will come out on later this week. Okay, so I am like releasing a book a week in order to shorten the whole process. Okay, if you write longer stories, that's totally fine. The process still works, but it takes longer <laughs> because it takes longer to write the stories. Okay, hold on a second. My sister called. Everybody's all the interruptions right when I'm trying to record this. <laughs> okay, so a story a week and then a do, do, do. let me see let me see okay so how did I get there how did I get to a story a week well first thing I did was make a plan because that is the first part of the author like a boss blueprint and I told you I'm following my own <laughs> I'm following my own my own framework I'm doing my own course so I literally printed up the sheets <laughs> and was like okay Part one is make a plan. And part of that is like, how long should each story be? What is my writing speed? So actually calculating how much time it's going to take to write the number of words that I want to write. <laughs> okay, so I went through those worksheets, I came up with some numbers. And my first plan, you guys was a little bit off. Because <laughs> I was, a, I was very enthusiastic. And like, yeah, I can totally do this. I got this. Because you know, when you're starting a project, how excited you are. <laughs> that was me. So I was like, how long should the story be? I think 15,000 words. And how fast do I write? About 750 words per hour. And how much time will I spend writing? Probably about six hours a day. <laughs> and so I came up with this release schedule, you guys, that was utterly ridiculous. <laughs> And, and I look back on it now and just smile at young writer me from two months ago. <laughs> okay, so more real, realistic answers are writing 10,000 word stories, about 500 words per hour, and I write for about three to four hours a day. Okay, very slow writer. Then I moved on to part two of the Author Like a Boss framework, which is know your genre. So before I started any actual writing... Um, you know, I made that plan, but I hadn't actually written anything. What I did was I researched the heck out of that genre. Okay, so I spent like a week just reading these short stories, reading a bunch of short stories, figuring out what what was in common with them. What were people saying in the reviews? How often were the authors releasing? <laughs> okay, then I joined the Facebook groups of the top authors. And I started asking questions of the other people in there. I'm like, hey, what do you love about this author's books? And people would answer. They'd tell me exactly what they loved about the books. And I would make note of that so that I could include that in my books. <laughs> okay, so I made all these notes. I did all this research. Okay, so then, doo -doo, then I started writing. <laughs> then I started writing. And like anyone... <laughs> I, I was on fire the first couple days. I did like 6,000 words in two days, which is for me so fast, <laughs> right? And I was bragging to an author friend about my numbers and she was like, oh man, that's amazing. I was telling her about my plan and how I'm going to release things. And she's like, that's so awesome. And she started asking me questions, okay? She's like, okay, you know, good questions. <laughs> Like, what p point of view and tense are the authors writing in? Now, here's the thing. I had checked the point of view. I was like, first person, I got it, baby. Okay, but I had not checked the tense. <laughs> so I had to scrap those first 6,000 words. And by scrap, I mean, I put them in a, in a separate folder and I saved them for later. <laughs> 
<laughs> but but um, I had to set them aside and then I had to start over fresh because you know how you know how when you're like you've just written something and then you have to write it again like if you accidentally you write spend a half an hour writing an email and then it accidentally deletes and then you're like the second one's not going to be as good as the first one I spent so much time on that that's how I felt about this particular story that I'd already written the 6,000 words so I started fresh and that actually took a couple weeks because I was a little bit bummed so I was like oh and it kind of set me back like I'm a real I'm a real writer now it set me back a couple of weeks um, to have to start over but I looked at the calendar then and I was like holy crap if I want to publish a book like I want if I want this book to release by January 31st I need to get off my butt <laughs> and start writing and so I did I got off my butt and I started writing and what I did was I wrote that first book that released on January 31st I wrote it the first draft in four days um, again we're talking 10,000 word stories here you guys we're not talking full-length novels and I put it up for pre-order because nothing gets your accountability going better than putting it up for pre-order which interestingly is also part of the author like a boss blueprint I feel like I'm saying this a lot but it's because I was going through my own program I'm like okay like I put in all the things into my program into the framework and into that blueprint basically I put in all the things to be successful so now let's see now where are we at I'm going through these emails okay so then you guys so then what I'm talking about I'm just going through the emails that I sent the people on my list because that's kind of because I put a lot of thought into those <laughs> and I'm like oh, I'll just summarize that for the people who are listening on the podcast and then I don't have to do the thinking twice <laughs> okay so ah, the next thing that happened and I just want to be clear like a lot of this stuff did happen at the same time like I'm trying to do it in chronological like kind of somewhat chronologically but like the weeks were all really you know that I didn't just do one thing per day I did a bunch of things per day I did some writing some marketing some mindset all happening at the same time um, but uh, it doesn't all make sense to just tell you that like that so I'm trying to I'm trying to keep it somewhat organized but generally what happened next is I released that book and I was talking to that author friend the one who asked those really smart questions <laughs> Okay, I was talking to her and she was like, hey, you know, we should write a series together because she had already been looking at that same genre. Okay, so like I was talking with her about it, but she'd been looking at that genre for like six months or longer. And so when I was like, yeah, I'm doing it. She's like, you know what? Yeah, it's time. I'm going to do it, too. And so we organized um, with each other to put out a four book series in the next like th from that point three weeks <laughs> I call it our audacious plan okay so the schedule was something like at the end of January we're like let's do a series <laughs> and then in the next two weeks between February 4th and February 12th we released all the four books in the series and those were a crazy couple of weeks but we took turns so she did one I did one she did one I did one okay so it wasn't like we each at least had a one week break between well sometimes six days but we each had about six days in between each release so we were like kicking butt writing and uh and I would alpha read for her and she'd alpha read for me and I made book covers and <laughs> <laughs> we we would brain we had to brainstorm on the world because we wanted to do the series in the same world okay so that we could mention each other's characters in our books so I would mention her characters and mine and vice versa we make the blurbs we put them up for pre-order <laughs> you know there was so many things happening in those two weeks um, but part of getting part of having the success is getting 
you know, the books out regularly and working with Amazon's algorithms. And because these are short stories, we can get them out even faster. So typically, as you, if you've listened to the other podcast episodes, you know that you want to get your second book out. You know, if you want to get your next book out, ideally within 30 days, which is rough for a lot of authors, but like at the worst, at the back end, you'd want to get it out in 90 days, okay, before the 90 day cutoff, which there's all kinds of strategies that you can use around that. And those are all those strategies are listed in the blueprint. But because we're doing short stories, we could really like pump up our new release and take advantage of those algorithms by doing them really fast and especially fast when there's two of us in the series. Okay. So I don't get Ben, I don't like get credit for her releases, but I do benefit from her releases. And so that's what we did. We released like, like a boss. We released these short stories like a boss. <laughs> and then, and then we kept going. <laughs> and so um, those were my first three. I released the first one on January. The January 31st was my own independent one. The next two books I released were in that series. And then the fourth book that came out was, so that is book two in the series that I'm writing on my own. And the one I'm uploading tonight is book three in the series that I'm writing. So, whew. <laughs> so that's where I'm at. <laughs> That's where I'm at now is I am currently writing and releasing um, and and checking my KDP account like every other author and realizing what my strengths are when I write and where my weaknesses are and <laughs> all this fun stuff, you know, like turns out that uh, settings are not my strength. So even though I love fantasy, fantasy books are some of my favorite to read, I will probably not. And even though I have a fantasy book idea in my mind, it probably won't happen unless I'm doing it with somebody else because, <laughs> because I really struggle writing settings. <laughs> okay, so, so these are some of the kind of details that I'm going to be sharing um, in the next month or so, I'm going to try and be hopping on every couple of days onto Facebook with a Facebook Live where I share my numbers, I share what I'm doing. Um, I'll be sending out updates to the newsletter just so that people can follow along and so that you can know how possible it is. Like, and you know me, if you've listened at all, you know, like, I'm all I want is for you all to make money with your creativity. All I want is for you to have success. <laughs> like this is, that's what I really care about. That's what I truly love is helping you all to have the success that you absolutely deserve. And if I can help you do that and believe that for yourself by doing it myself, <laughs> someone who doesn't even, you know, want to write for forever um, and somebody who writes really really slowly. <laughs> okay. Um, if I can do it, then you absolutely can do it too. Especially because I'm not doing everything right. Like there's still mistakes happening. We that first series that I made the first series that we made, I made the book covers myself. Okay, I made the book covers myself. And I thought they were super cute. Okay, I liked them. <laughs> but after we got the last book in the series out, I was like, hmm. And somebody left a review. Somebody left a review and commented about the cover in the review and the quality of the cover versus the quality of the story. And I was like, oh, huh. And so I made new covers like within a week of the last story coming out. And you guys, it hasn't even been a month since my first one came out. So already I'm updating covers, redoing covers, redoing blurbs. All of this stuff is happening and that's the kind of stuff that I'm going to be sharing in the newsletter and in the Facebook group. So if you are not signed up to the newsletter, if you are not in the Facebook group or have li or liked the Author Like a Boss Facebook page and you want to follow along this journey with me, definitely come hang out. And then um, <laughs> you can access both of those things at authorlikeaboss.com or search author like a boss in Google. And because I'm 
very busy. I need to go get, <laughs> I wanted to share this with you, but I need to go get that stuff formatted and uploaded to Amazon. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, one more thing. And I am also planning on doing some kind of live Q&A um, in the future. I'm not sure exactly when at this point, because I am still really busy writing and, and make, you know, in the process. But I think once I get to a certain point, and I guess I'll, I guess I'll just wait until it feels right. Um, I will be doing a live Q and A. And so if you're interested in participating and asking me whatever questions you want to ask me, um, you'll definitely want to get on the newsletter because that's where um, I'll, I'll be sending out notification of when that happens. And, and that's where you won't miss it because Facebook doesn't always tell you all the things that happen on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm so glad that you all are here and listening. I appreciate you and love you and uh, want you to have all the success that you deserve, which is a lot and uh, I got to go. I got to get going. I got to go format the story and upload it. <laughs> okay. Hugs and happy authoring here at Author Like a Boss.